good morning. I'm gonna do this on the balcony before a bunch of people are out on theirs. Because, uh, like, everyone can see your balcony. It's a little bit weird, but it is still cool. It's an awesome balcony. Uh, but we are pulling into Juno this morning. Uh, there's actually a cruise ship, like, way out there behind us. I'm not sure which one it is, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. But yeah, we're pulling into Juno today. It's probably our biggest day. We have two excursions. Uh, we're doing the sled dog like summer camp, um, which is like the dry land version of the sled dogs. So you don't actually go out on ice or anything. And then we are also doing the Endicott Arm uh, Explorer boat, which is the small boat that takes you out in front of the ship when we go into Glacier Bay. So I am very much looking forward to today. It is, it's actually like 6.20. I've been kind of in and out of going to sleep since like about 4.30 this morning because like the views were super awesome coming into here. I did, I put the camera out in the morning. So you'll be able to see that. But yeah, it is a little bit, it's drizzly. And obviously very foggy out today. It'll be a good day. Uh, princess cruises. So everyone's got like early excursions. Uh, it's a little bit after seven for us. Our excursion me is at eight fifteen at the pier, but the observation lounge is like pretty empty because of it, which is kind of cool. I'm trying to find my wife. Oh, there she is. Off the ship here. Yeah, we're gonna go do the sled dog tour. So on the left here is where you pick up the shuttle if you don't have a tour. And then, oh, it looks like you're gonna walk up the town like about a mile. It's kind of cool. I would do that. And then on the right here is all of the tours and the buses. I'm okay.
save up all your money and then use all that money to uh, one week old really quick i'll just show them off you guys to get all the older these guys and then we'll meet the older one months over here where you guys go uh, yeah she usually mom is keeping them warm so that's why we'll only see this guy for a minute <laughs> Uh, for the Glacial Explorer. Uh, we'll talk more about the dog sled one in a bit, but we're looking forward to this.
and your cruise director from the invitation to join us in the Dish Theater, 7 o'clock show. That is the boat that we just got off for our excursion. It dropped us right off at the ship. The glacier is like right up around the bend there. So it doesn't look like we're gonna get to see it from the ship at all. So I am glad we did that. It's kind of a long trek on it, but it was really cool. everything we miss. We just finished dinner and the waterfront like restaurant area hadn't been opened just because of terrible weather the whole time. So we kind of found this and we're out here exploring but a lot of the different restaurants and some of the lounges have areas out here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's nice though. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, they have like the bars out here as well though. This. So who, who, what do we have in the house here? Back in the room for the evening. Uh, we just went to Tap House, which is a really cool space. Uh, we're just getting Tap. tired. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But they had music and stuff going on mm -hmm. in there. Yeah, it seemed fun. Yep. But we did two excursions today in Juneau. Uh, first one was the dog sledding summer camp. About a 30 minute drive kind of up into the mountains. Very um, pretty drive. Kinda yes. Looking around while you're, you know, going. So that was nice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and it's a fairly smaller group. Uh, the bus held 25 people. It's a smaller bus. And they run multiple buses kind of up and you they kind of like overlap the different Yeah, they like, have like a rotation going on. Yeah, because there's different like kind of segments of the tour that you do at one time. Mostly because any bigger of a vehicle probably could not easily get up the get road to where, to they where are. the <laughs> camp is. But I thought the camp was great. I would recommend this tour to anyone who's like a dog lover, interested in the sled dog situation. Since it's a smaller group, it's really like good information. You feel like you get like your questions answered. It was really cool. Yeah, I thought it was really awesome. You start off by doing like an actual like sled run. It's like basically on a big cart mm -hmm. that they, they buckle you in. you in. They take you in some pretty like small circles and stuff but you, the dogs you know they let them run fairly quick they do a couple tight turns you can kind of see how the um the mushers like guide them um and command them it was cool yeah and i was surprised that the people like leading that the mushers were like actual essentially professionals like yeah. I think every single one of the uh, folks who let it have run in the Iditarod, which means they qualified to run in the Iditarod, which is a feat in its, of itself. Yep, and our 
guy was actually one of the guys related to the person who started the Iditarod. Yeah. So that was pretty interesting. Yeah. So it's a fairly, it seems, you know, kind of a small community of people, which makes sense because it's an Alaska thing and there's a, a ton of people in Alaska, but it was really good. And the dogs are awesome. The, the mushers who are running their dogs their the, it's their dogs it's their yep. team and their dogs that they have raised and trained and you can tell they care so much about them and you can tell the dogs are loving it you know it's it's just really cool so so you do you know the portion where you're uh, you ride in the sled and the sleds are like actually like specially made i think you know by the camp for summertime like runs um so you do that and then the next part of the tour kind of gives you a little bit of history about the Iditarod and mushing and, um, you know, some information about, like, stuff they have to carry with them, which was interesting, and, like, how they feed the dogs and they answer questions. They have this little bit where you can go out on that bridge, which is kind of yeah. cool because you're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, so you can kind of explore a little bit. Um, so you learn all that info, and then you get to, um... You get to hold the puppies. You get to see and hold puppies. Yep, they show you. They have some puppies out there, and they let you hold and take pictures with yeah, them. Yeah, so the mushers breed the sled dogs. They're all, I think all the dogs we saw were Alaskan huskies. Yes. The dogs who they have there, um, the puppies are also bred and taken care of by the different mushers so it might be a different mushers dogs who are there that day and they you know have different rules about how old you know the they want the puppies to be before you know people hold them and stuff got to hold some i think they were month old something like that yeah yeah and they were so sweet and then we also got to see week old or were they two weeks a week old week old puppies we just got to see them we couldn't hold them they were very sweet and yeah, it was just a really cool little setup they had out there. It was about a three hour tour. Like I said, 30 minutes kind of to and from. But yeah, it was it was a good little tour. Yeah. And even on the bus ride back, the uh, the folks who are driving the buses to and from also work for the, the sled dog camp. And on the ride back, our guy was super cool and answered questions. And, you know, is also knowledgeable about the sled dog thing. So that was really good. Yep, and then we got back to the ship. We had a quick lunch up at the buffet. We actually really enjoyed our time in the buffet. It wasn't too busy because we got there before, like, the all-aboard time. It was about 11 or so. Good lunch. Yeah, it was a solid lunch. And then we had our second tour, which was the uh, Glacial Exploration. Yeah, I think it's, like, the Indicott Arms Explorer or something is what it's called. Yep. So this is kind of a cool one because the all aboard time is, I think it was one o'clock today, and this excursion started at one o'clock. So what this was, was we met down in the Manhattan room, one of the dining rooms, and instead of getting off the ship, we actually went from our ship onto a smaller ship, and we left just before our ship and went out into Endicott Arm, uh, the fjord there. And we got to go up ahead, uh, go into some of the kind of the little nooks and crannies. And then we got to go further up into the actual glacier area. The ship actually, I don't think, got to see the glacier at all. But we actually got to go up there and get a little bit closer, get some pictures. We were probably, what, like two football fields away from it? Uh, Probably a little bit further. We were still fairly far away. There was a lot of ice, uh, which is the big factor in determining how close you can get yeah seeing the all the ice out there that was a cool thing too um we were lucky to see a lot of seals because the seals like to hang out on the ice so we saw a ton of those which was really cool seals uh, there were two whales a sea lion yep and a lot of eagles all around got some good information about kind of the area and the um, glaciers, like, and how they formed the, you know, the little arms and stuff that we were in. That was pretty cool. And yep. just, it was beautiful. Yes, it is very beautiful. I will note, it's kind of a slow burn. Of it's a long a... tour. It's like, I mean, it's two hours from the time, probably more. I think it ended up being more from the time where we, like, left the ship, got on the boat, and, like, started going before you get close to the glacier. Yeah, so it was, uh, it was 
more than three hours before we got to the glacier. Mm -hmm. But it was two hours to get into Endicott. And then we started to see things kind of within that next hour, ice and stuff floating around. They showed us the waterfall. But then once we had gotten into Endicott, it was basically like another hour or so until we actually got to the glacier. Because they move really slow at a certain point because they're navigating around the ice and they're being extra safe. I mean, the the whole time you're just surrounded by... Yes, beautiful the whole time. Nature. And I think maybe eventually you kind of, I don't know if you get used to all these beautiful things around you because it's always there the boat that you're on is like pretty well equipped it has like a snack bar and they serve snacks but they also serve free hot chocolate and coffee and tea they have beers you can purchase other snacks you can purchase so and they have bathrooms so like everything you need to hang for five plus Hmm. hours is is there no, you could bring a book if you wanted. Like, you know, it's it's a cool thing. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. I think we all had a really good time on that one. Yeah, and I will note it's operated by the same people who did our tour yesterday, who we yep. absolutely loved our tour yesterday. It was a shorter tour, and I think that tour you got right into, like, seeing things and hearing your... Naturalist. Naturalist. <laughs> you get right into hearing them talk about things because your tour kind of, like, kicks off right away this one like you said was a slower burn but i think overall i'm a big fan of this company both the tours have been really good and felt very safe and um worth it so i posted it but it's alan something alan yeah alan marine i think is what it's called but so far i would recommend any tours that they do um i'm very impressed with them after that they took us right back to the ship the ship was basically like right behind us after we were it was really really it was almost surprising to like turn that corner and see the ship right there because it had been so far behind us for so long i didn't really realize how long we had spent going so slow into the glacier field there for it to have caught up to us but it was kind of cool you get a really cool view of the ship yeah coming up to the ship with like cool things behind it yeah just a very nice scene and everyone on the ship when you get close is like waving at the boat it's it's fun but it pulls right back up to the ship and you get right back on it's yep. it's kind of cool to see the the captain of the boat you're on like navigated up next to the ship that was kind of fun to watch <laughs> yeah and after that we well i went up actually they open up the bow uh, so you can go on and, like, see stuff from there. And uh, that's right next to our room. Yes, so it is literally <laughs> right next to our room. That's why I went. That was just, like, fine. It was a fun thing to do. Yeah. They were, like, serving some food out there and stuff. But then we had dinner in Saber. Saber. I will um, say our food tonight, I think everyone really enjoyed their food tonight. Yep, last two nights food has been much better. Yep. Service on this ship is just so slow, and and I think it's because they're so understaffed, but it is so slow. <laughs> like, to the point of we're getting really tired every night and, like, ha- don't have any energy to do anything after dinner because we're so tired. Yeah, it's like two and a half hour meals for, yeah. you know, a starter, your main, a dessert. I'm very excited. Tomorrow is our first reservation, like, technically extra cost, but we have the the dining plan thing that's our first meal for that tomorrow night and i'm kind of excited for that because i think it'll be like smoother yeah um yeah but the you know everyone's really nice and the food has been either decent or good but it's just very slow yeah not just not enough help yeah something to keep in mind if you're I'm doing that. But I will say also the buffet food has been good. So if you want yeah, to go Yeah, buffet at your food's own, been really solid. If you want to go at your own pace, that might be the way to go. That was our Juno and Glacier Day. I think overall it was good. Yeah, awesome day, honestly. Yeah. Really awesome. A lot of fun. We are in Icy Strait tomorrow, and we have no planned tour or anything. Yeah, so we I might think... get off, do some exploration, kind yeah. of be a little more leisurely tomorrow. I wouldn't mind just doing a, a walk around and kind of go at our own pace. We're there from like 7 to 3, which is, for this cruise, a fairly One long One of the longer time. days. So even if we don't, if we sleep in a little bit and get off a little later, we still will have plenty of time to, I think, just walk around. We I had so much fun on some of our tours where it gave us a little time to kind of just like walk around in the woods or on a trail that 
that's kind of what I want to do is just do a little a little walking. Yeah. Yeah. Without so having to get back on a bus. That's what we'll try to do tomorrow. But till then, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, subscribe, ring ring the bell, all of that fun YouTubey stuff, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. I don't know. I need uh, either my glasses or my zoom lens. Got another ship out there.